Flat. Judy, nothing. move left. You move left. There you go. Yep. Mm. I don't think the strength. picture did it justice. No, at not at all. Mm. Um, you can cut your own two and a half inch strips if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. One jelly roll will do it in three mm -hmm. and a half. Now this, in the pattern, oh here, oh, it's in yeah, this pre-cut primer. It's called the 11th grade. And um, this you're supposed to use two and a half inch squares. And this is what she's oh, made of. Oh, yeah. yes. Very modern fabrics. That's the canyon? Is that canyon? Yeah. No, it's, it's, no, it's the other one. Oh, Zen Chic. Um, yeah, those two and a half. Oh, 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 other yeah. ones that she has done out of the series. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. um, she used Steema C. She also used Stacy, which Stacy is the interfacing, the iron on interfacing. Um, she used cotton select batting for the backing. Um, she could use triangles on a roll, and they would be two inch finished if you did that. So if you had triangles on a roll or your software program or something, it's two inch finished for the half score triangles down here. Very, very pretty. And there's kits, isn't there? And there are kits, and the kits are, and this one is right here in the back. And this is, so Gail's hop along, so she did it. So there's hers. Oh, pretty. This is called Chatterbox. It was, um, I made this out of flannel rather than wool. Wool gets to be kind of pricey, and uh, so it's actually a combination. The uh, this background piece is all uh, flannel, with the exception of this red. I didn't have a pretty red, but I did have it in wool. So it's all uh, when you use flannel, you fuse it. Um, you're supposed to also fuse wool, but I I don't like to. I'm a purist, so I don't <laughs> fuse the wool. Um, so. It's, what it's meant to do is to be a background, and then you can change um, these little squares. If you could unsnap, snap, there you go. You can put a different square on. So this actually, because I'm always ahead, this is for February. <laughs> <laughs> Never ahead. I just thought it was pretty. So this is February's, and this again is a combination of this is wool, the little... Uh, uh, pin cushion is wool, and the rest of it pretty much is um, the scissors are wool. And then you get a chance to use your buttons um, and some embellishment. This little this is the pattern for the table runner, and it tells you to use a six and a half piece, and then you go ahead and mark on your ruler. And this is with the tape, the um, glow tape. Yeah, glow tape. So what's going to happen is I actually marked it where I'm supposed to put the ruler at. So you put it at a six and a quarter, and then up here it's at three. And when you cut that right there, when you open it up, that is your hexi. <coughs> okay? Bless you. you're cutting your own hexes with this. And it has very good instructions on how to get your hexes and also to get your little pieces. And Laura said that she wanted a springtime one. But she said, can't you just do a table topper? So we just did seven hexes. And she said, we'll put some borders on it. And then we'll turn it at the, the end. So you could do it this way. So I did one like that. But then they said to use make some little flying geese like this. And then you're supposed to have flying geese going. The one thing that I did... Um, this one is it said when you make the corners it actually said that you were supposed to make them an inch and a quarter well what happened is it made the bag a lot shorter so you didn't see the whole pattern on the outside so I undid them and make the corners smaller who says you can't have your corners smaller or bigger mm -hmm. that's right and then they have another one that you can use your two and a half inch squares for we didn't have two and a half inch squares in this, but I had leftover fabric from these, so you just make your own little squares. And then you can strip piece them if you want. And then I just quilted it together. And on this one, they actually told you to do the zipper 
not straight. Do one side this way and one side this way so that you can fit some things in the top that have a bigger handle, you know, like some of your cutters mm -hmm. or something like that. And so this one, I did do the extra little pads on the end. Um, on the quilt as you go project so that you layer and flip and layer and flip um, and so this is her purse for that and you can use um, two and a half inch strips if you have leftover two and a half inch strips you could use that or if you have a jelly roll or you could cut your own two and a half inch strips um, very modern looking Put your face back out there, Maggie. Looks like so much work. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? You want to see your cute face. Nah, cover Linda. <laughs> oh. Give me the <laughs> we did an awesome job. We did. Smile. Oh, you no, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. I love this. It's cute. Everybody loves it. Okay, let me get a picture yep. of that. Got it. Oh, Are you done? Cheryl's.